hello everyone welcome back to the new video today i will talk about the effect that anode chemistry may have on its selection and cathodic protection when an anode is to be selected to be used in a cp system the usual parameters which are looked at are potential of the anode versus reference electrodes its efficiency and its current output the potential is of two types open circuit potential and closed circuit potential the open circuit potential is measured with respect to copper copper sulfate reference electrode and this is done in the absence of any externally applied potential or current density closed circuit potential is measured when that anode is connected to the equipment that is to be protected the operating potential that is seen in the catalogs or data sheets refers to this closed circuit potential the open circuit potential is related to the potential of, of the only the anode now when we look at the other information in the data sheet it usually consists of the alloying composition of that anode a typical uh, aluminum anode you consists of zinc as one of its major alloying elements this composition is similar to the composition of the aluminum alloys from the 7000 series an example of this is the 7075 alloy where the zinc is within the limits of the aluminum anode as well the anode in a cp system works when it has an efficient dissolution behavior which corresponds to the current output this dissolution behavior is related to the corrosion behavior of the corresponding alloy the corrosion properties of the 7000 series alloys can be calculated using the tafel plots as given in these pictures we can see that there is a variation in the corrosion potential with respect to the times of immersion thus the open circuit potentials that are mentioned in the data sheets are these corrosion potentials the corrosion current densities imply how fast or slow the corrosion of that particular alloy will happen when we want to compare this to the properties in the data sheets we can use the corrosion current density of the alloy to calculate the corrosion rate in millimeter per year or meter per year or mils per year such a corrosion rate can then be used to calculate the dissolution of the weight of that anode and this can further be used to extrapolate into the consumption rate of the anode thus the tafel plot which looks like a purely electrochemical testing method can actually be related to the parameters given in the data sheets for the anodes in fact if one wants to know how to select a particular anode it is a good practice to go back to a few publications which talk about how the tafel plots of those particular alloys or similar composition alloys look so that one may take into account the chemistry while selecting the anode type in addition to these parameters the reason is even small changes in the elemental compositions may change these parameters although it may not appear just from the data sheets check out my channel for more such videos thank you